Now, you have four paper drawers in the base of the machine. You have drawer one set for legal size, drawer two set for 11 by 17, and then three and four are your main paper drawers. They are set for eight and a half by 11 paper. So just to show you here, if we open up the top drawer, we lock that down, this holds 250 sheets of paper. Now, you just don't want to fill above the max lines in the drawers. Okay? So you'll see you have a max line here, so you don't want your paper to fill above that line. Okay? If you need to do adjust for a different paper size here, you unlock this drawer, and then this can slide and adjust for different paper sizes. The system on the top up here will automatically adjust for paper sizes when you put them in the drawers. Okay? This just slides in. Second drawer. 550, or 250 sheets of paper, same adjustment as tray one. Unlock, lock, slide and adjust for your different sizes. Now, drawer three and four here hold 550 sheets of paper. And as long as you stay below these little green tabs right here where I have my fingers, you're fine to put paper up to those levels. So you can slide your paper in here. This is an adjustable drawer as well, so you can unlock this as well and then slide and adjust this as well. I would recommend that you leave these drawers set and locked. That way you don't get people doing different sizes out of the drawers and confusing everybody. Now, you also have drawer four, same configuration as drawer three, 550 sheets. Don't fill above your little tabs in your line here. Same adjustments. Now, the system is defaulted to go from tray three automatically as your first eight and a half by 11 drawer. If it runs out of this drawer, it will automatically go to this drawer on its own. Okay, um, so I changed it so you had a configuration going to your two highest paper drawers, which is your eight and a half by eleven stocks, rather than your two smaller drawers. Okay, so those are your paper cassettes. On the side over here, you have a bypass drawer. You'll notice right now it's in the up position. If I look here, there's a little hand. I reach in, I simply pull this down. Paper can be loaded here into the side of the equipment. If people have thicker, like resume paper, will this machine accommodate it? Correct. So what we're going to do is, we'll imagine what I have here is either resume paper, blue paper, green paper, or whatever it may be. Um, let me just go ahead and scan the card one more time. Oops. Okay. So if I go ahead and I take this, and it's print side down, so if this was letterhead, it would go in this direction. And you will notice that the front of this the screen here automatically defaults to the bypass tray. If it is a cardstock or heavier weight paper other than normal paper, you'll see here underneath ready, it'll say, please press the pound key to use special paper. So if you press pound, it'll say, is it a transparency, thin paper, or thick paper? Okay? 